Your ability to learn determines the way you navigate through life. In your career, hobbies, or relationships, learning is essential. And the holy effect is how you can learn at a much faster rate. Before I explain it, let me give you an example of the effect in action. Last year, my brother picked up playing the guitar. I remember hearing him learn a new song, and although he sounded terrible in the process, something strange was happening. He played a few chords and then he paused and started slowly playing from the beginning. He played the same notes and then this time he was deep in thought, even mumbling to himself. He started playing even slower from the beginning and something must have clicked because after a few more attempts, he played that part perfectly. The holy effect is the feeling of seeing talent bloom in people we thought were just like us. What did he do? He didn't practice longer, he practiced deeper. Now what do I mean by that? Deep practice is a way of breaking down steps into very small goals, like hitting the right sequence of strings on a guitar. Once you've successfully done that, you move on to the next sticking point and you repeat. You regularly have to practice the newly learned steps until they've become automatic, or rather, until your brain builds enough myelin for those actions. Myelin is the brain's building block for skills. You can learn more about myelin by watching this video. Let's analyze how my brother achieved deep practice. First, he broke up the song into smaller pieces. It's a lot easier to master many small components than it is to master a big one. Next, he played the piece very slowly. This allowed him to spot mistakes and correct them. If you're learning a cognitive skill, which you can't really slow down, focus on finding your mistakes and correcting them. Remember, quality over quantity. Finally, for my brother to reach a state of deep practice, he had to step out of his comfort zone. This is crucial. We have this false notion that skills should be acquired effortlessly. Deep practice requires you to practice out of your comfort zone. So if you're at the gym, use a heavier weight. Or if you're a musician, learn a challenging piece. You really can't improve by doing something easy. Struggle isn't an option. It's a biological requirement for building myelin. Let's recap. When you practice, you should break it up into several small steps. You should perform the action slowly to spot and correct mistakes. And you should practice out of your comfort zone. Doing this will build myelin and you'll be on your way to mastery. All the information in this video was taken from the book The Talent Code by Dan Coyle. You can find the link to the book in the description below. And if you like this topic or enjoy the animation, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss our next videos. Have you ever experienced the holy effect? Tell us in the comments below and as always, thank you for your curiosity.